Bitty brown, 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 bitty brown. Bitty brown, 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 Meow 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 meow. That's the beginning of the show. What up, everybody? It is what is it? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. The Ninerd. Ninerd of January. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Good to see you. All your bright and shiny faces. It's good to see everybody here. Who was first to the chat today? Will's Aquariums. Congratulations. Congratulations for being first to the chat. Uh, Snowflake, JW, The Fish Tank Barn, Sopo Loco, Alyssa Bentley, Derek Reynolds, Simon Shaw, Rocky's Rocky, Ed's Fish, Dan Squires, It's Nature Man, Willie Loot, James Lyser, Dom1042, Big D Smoke, Derek Runyon, Candy Overhauls again. Uh, Jay's Crazy Obsession, Mr. B Fishing Things, Mark Dibble, Aquarius Plantados, Aquarius Plantados, 100 by 35. All right. Uh, Superior Guppy, Reaver, Scott Williams, Dan Squires again, and Gerson and Megan Ness. Ha, I got them all today. <laughs> I got them all. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out on a Wednesday. A little weird out here. Oh, it's the middle of the week. You know, I start I start losing sleep and getting weird in the middle of the week. So, you know how it goes. I'm glad to have you all here. How many we got right now? It's going up, up, up. What's it, go, what's it up to? What's it up? Oh, it stopped. Okay. 66 people. Oh, boy, howdy. 66 people here to check out the show. Good to see you. Let's go to the video. Early people get the video today. Why not? We're going to the video because the first part I want to talk about... Where do I want to move? I think I want to move me down here. <laughs> That's all fun and games. Moving me around. Let me see. Where's my... Um, where's my arrow? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, we must move the arrow, and uh, we got to rotate it, bros. Bros, we got to rotate on the Z-axis. Rotate. Rotate. Do I have to rotate all the way back around to get to the other direction? <laughs> yes. All right, there we go. Now the arrow's pointing the right direction. Now we can go like, yeah, yeah, arrow time. Boy. Good times for everybody. Yeah, we'll go on to the video because this is the video of the day. Let's do it right here at the beginning. Why not? Let's get it out of the way because there's a couple things I want to talk about today. And uh, first things first, I want to talk about Pogostemon Stellatus Octopus. As you guys uh, saw earlier sometime, maybe it was last week. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it was last week we did a Pogostemon Erectus. And as you guys know, Pogostemon Stellatus shows up on this show a lot. Because I'm constantly having to trim it. I have to trim it all the time. I have to constantly have to trim it back. I have to trim it back. I have to trim it back. And today. Today is the day. Mark it down on your calendar. Uh, the 9th of January, 2019. Erd. The Pogostemon in the shrimp tank is perfect. This is exactly what I want the Pogostemon Stellatus to do. Right now, it is perfect. That is exactly how the pruning is exactly how I want it to be. Oh, I just wanted to revel in the majesty of how this plant is doing today. It is perfect. And because you guys know how my tanks run, it will be completely overgrown by tomorrow. So I just definitely wanted to get a chance to get this little video portion out to you guys. I did a little keyframe changing on it, so we do a little zoom in and a zoom out and a zoom in and a pan in and a pan out and that kind of fancy stuff. 
uh, what ifs. Yeah, obviously, there's not a lot of action in this video, but I wanted to pass on the majesty that is the Pogostem and Stellatus octopus in its perfect, perfect form. This is... The Russian judge would give this a 9.9 .9 at the freaking Olympics. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? The Ukrainian judge would hold up the 10. You know what I'm saying? The Italian judge, 10.1. You know what I'm saying? You know what, you know what I mean? Even... Netherlands would give this two thumbs up. I hope a thumbs up is good in the Netherlands. I don't know. I hope it's good. I hope it's a good thing. Now, let's talk about why I've realized um, what I've changed in this shrimp tank. Because I have made some subtle, subtle, subtle changes. You know what I'm saying? I've made some subtle changes and I realized what is the difference when I started checking my water and stuff today i was doing the things that i gotta do babysitter didn't get here till later so did a lot of baby stuff i'll be doing my night shift baby stuff later uh but i was like what have i changed because my pruning you know trimming it hasn't changed you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's like i haven't really changed uh you know, how I'm trimming it. I haven't really changed my water changing cycle. And the thing that I realized that is different is that I am adding iron back to the tank. And I know why I, you know, haven't been adding iron to the tank is typically my water does have really nothing in it. It's almost like rody water, R-O-D-I, reverse osmosis, deionized water. You know, like our TDS would be like 20, 25, you know, um, so, but the TDS that is in the water is typically iron, strangely enough. Uh, so it's not something that I normally am that concerned about. But basically, I was looking through some of the water reports and I realized, like, we're not getting the same amount of iron once I was actually looking through because we got a water report. We get them, like, every six months or something like that out here. And we got a report, water report the other day, and I was kind of looking at what the typical chemistry is um, from that's coming from the, um, what do you call it, the reservoir uh, that they're getting from the reservoir. And I'm realizing that there's not a lot of iron in it at this point, and maybe that's because, um, I don't know. If I say maybe that's because of something, I think I would be like completely speculating. So let me backpedal. Hold on. Let me hit the brakes and go, wait, why? Because I don't think that they would change reservoirs around here, but I don't know exactly why, but we're low on iron. Now, one of the things I wanted to have the arrow on, and maybe I'll turn even the whiteboard on, you can notice down in the lower leaves down here, you see these lower leaves, like how much darker green they are um, than the upper shoots that are up here? as I scribble onto the screen. Um, those are all different. And the main reason for that is, um, you know, dosing that extra iron and in conjunction with the extra fertilizer that I'm adding, it is building a much hardier, darker green leaf structure on the older leaves and the new shoots obviously are going to be lighter green, which is typical. You probably seen from, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of plants in the world, you know, the new shoots are normally a lot lighter and a little more vibrant than, um, you know, the older, older leaves on any, any plant, even just go out in your garden. Um, but those older leaves are really getting a dark green to them, not crazy dark or anything like that, but they're getting a darker green tone to them, which means they're growing a, a longer, I guess a longer form sale structure, essentially, you know, they're kind of adapting to what I'm doing to the water and that I'm, I'm very excited for because I, I actually am almost looking forward to continue pruning and messing with this little bunch of, uh, um, Pogostemon that I got here and, and see what kind of subtle differences I'm going to get over the next, you know, month, two months, three months, and see what I'm going to end up with. 
um, you know, over the time frame. And uh, I, I, I'm very encouraged right now. I'm very encouraged right now. This is good news. Now, we all need good news sometimes, and today is a perfect day for needing good news. And the reason for that is, if you guys were here for the live show on Monday, you know how excited I was because I finally was able to order some of the shrimp that I wanted. Uh, the shrimp that I've wanted for quite a while are the shadow pandas. I don't know uh, if you guys are familiar with Caradina shrimp. Uh, you know, they're in the crystal shrimp. If people are typically talking about crystal shrimp, that's what... Um, you know, that would be kind of the street name for them is the shadow panda. Essentially, they're the all black uh, crystal shrimp and the white coloring on them is actually a blue color. So uh, pretty cool shrimp. It's about as it's not the coolest shrimp. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not the coolest shrimp in the world, but it's up there. It's definitely up there. And it's the one I've wanted for a really long time. If you guys remember my giant shrimp colony I had back in the day, I actually had three shadow pandas that I accidentally bred uh, and well, I'm not even going to tell the story about that. It's just uh, too long and stupid. But I was super excited for those. Uh, they were supposed to show up today. And, uh, you know, I gave I gave specific instructions on I need it delivered to my house Monday, Wednesday, or Friday is when it needs to arrive. And um, let me go look at this tracking right here. Um and uh, so the, uh, initially they said, oh, yeah, don't worry. They're going to show up on Friday. And I was like, ah, OK, that's kind of a drag. But I'm here on Friday. And um, then I got an update that said they're going to be here on Wednesday. Now the United States Postal Service says there's some kind of I don't even think there was a delay. I, I don't even think there was a delay. I think it was supposed to be here on Friday. And then I think it got bumped up for some reason or whatever, but it's not going to be here, uh, until tomorrow, which tomorrow is terrible because the only people that are here are people that don't know how to deal with receiving shrimp in the mail. So is that a drag? Yeah, it's a little bit of a drag, but It'll hopefully work out at least they'll get brought inside. They won't be, uh, out in the cold or anything like that. And you know, I realistically, um, I, I was like, I don't even know if I can speed it up somehow and be like, bring them today or like try and schedule to go pick them up. But, you know, in the midst of them shipping, I just don't even know if that's something that you can do. I like, I don't think you can change it. I don't think you can. You know, I don't think there's anything I can do. I think right now, like looking at it. They're driving around right now. Like the last update was at 2.32. So, um, and it had left its facility to go from Seattle to somewhere else. So I guess it must, they must have like flown it into Seattle and then now they're driving it to a regional destination facility. I don't even know what that means, but, um, kind of sucks. I was really hoping to get them out and show them to you guys today, but that's probably not going to happen unless they just somehow show up during the show. But, uh, I really wanted to open the box like on Friday's show. So I, I don't think that's going to happen either. I think they're going to come in tomorrow and I'm going to have to, um, do another late night, late night video sneaking around late night in the shop, uh, and doing all that, uh, Doing all that late night stuff that you guys have been super excited for. Um, it's, uh, it's, I hope you guys are super excited for um, those late night videos, I guess. It just seems like people on the internet are excited to see me when I'm super tired in the middle of the night making fish tank videos, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that's kind of what's going on. Good news. Spogus Demon looks awesome. Bad news. Shrimp kind of stuck in the mail, and that's not the greatest thing ever, but we've got to live with these things sometimes. we got to live with these things sometimes, and uh, that's just life. Ah. What's up, everybody? Let me come bust into the chat a little bit here. Um, T. 
T-I-Y-T. I don't know what that means. But that's your screen name. It says, what fish do you have? Uh, I have quite a few fish, I guess. Um, I've got super red bristle nose. I've got one guppy. That's a that's a female. He's looking for a male. That's why I put him. The male that I'm looking for is in the thumbnail for today's stream. So if somebody knows where I can find uh, that sort of, you know, tiger endler, cobra endler, cobra guppy, whatever you want to call them, like that weird hybrid, I need a male like that. I'm going to breed them with my female. Uh, I've got the Shododentai puffers. I've got three of them puffer fish. Um, let's see, the Super Reds, the Rummy Nose Tetras. I've got those. Oh, I don't, other fish. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, man. I've definitely had a lot of fish over the years and I'm trying to think. There's some other fish. Oh, I got my killifish. A um, couple kinds of shrimp. You know, I just, all sorts of stuff, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe that was kind of a difficult question to answer. For whatever reason. I don't know why. Sorry. I'm getting weird. It's Wednesday, you guys. Um, Superior Guppy says, is that a tiger in there or a cobra handler? Um, I'm not sure in the thumbnail. It's a picture of a fish that I took at uh, the Guppy Championships. It might be one or the other. To be honest with you, I'd have to really like look at it up close and I don't have the thumbnail on my computer, but I'm looking for something like that with the short round tail. I don't want a long tail guppy. Um, I want that short round tail. I want the yellow and black coloring. I'd be cool with some of the rainbow colors, but, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I might go to a store one of these days and see if I can't find one. Um, there's a store near me that typically has, um, well, maybe not typically, but every once in a while has some pretty cool guppies in his little shrimp tanks. Uh, so I might uh, spin by there at some point in time. Uh, but I'm currently, you know, I'm getting the shrimp and I'm currently trying to buy some plants. I'm currently trying to buy, make a purchase of some plants so I could hopefully bring in some, uh, some new plants. And maybe trade some with Bentley. Um, I'm trying to just buy them all from a guy who's selling a bunch of rare plants. And I literally just was like, how much for all of them? <laughs> Cause he was trying to do, uh, he was trying to do the, uh, the individual sales. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, I'll send you one of these, you know, I'll send you one of these and one of those. And I was like, no, how many you got? <laughs> like, I'll just put that on my credit card. I don't care. It's plants, man. I, I will. I'll go into debt for plants, which of course the algorithm thinks I'm probably talking about illicit plants or something like that. But uh, I'm not I'm talking about acquiring plants. <laughs> Stupid robots! Quit trying to demonetize us, you robots! God. Oh, stupid YouTube robots always trying to demonetize us, thinking I'm talking about you know, basement tomatoes or something. And I'm not. T. Riddle says, partook in Petco's aquarium sale today with another 10-gallon uh, and had a $5 coupon. <laughs> that is awesome. So go, can you do a coupon with the uh, dollar per gallon sale? Because that that would be cool. I, I think that would be that would be a hardcore troll at the old Petco. Like, yeah, I'm here for the dollar per gallon sale. I'm going to take this 10-gallon. Yeah, here's my five five dollars off coupon also. And here's your five American dollars. And I guess tax. I guess maybe you have to give them six bucks, but that would be funny. I'm into that. Uh ba -ba -ba -ba. all right. Aquatics has got to come collect some plants down here in the Space Coast. You're right, all right. I do. I um you know, I do have some plans to make it to Florida at some point in time, and I definitely, you're like right in the area where I want to go in Florida. I want to go to where, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I want to like go to NASA and maybe have like the, um, you know, I don't want to go to necessarily go on the tour or anything like that. I'm not saying I don't, but that's kind of like the part of Florida that I kind of want to go check out. I mean, I don't know. I do expect that I'm probably going to get bit by 
tarantulas and snakes and all kinds of stuff if I go down there. But, um, you know, it would be pretty cool. I'm, I, I do have plans to go to Florida at some point in time. And um, when will that be? I don't know. I have no idea. There definitely are some really cool places I'd like to go to in Florida as far as some of the plant nurseries, some of the fish um, the fish nurseries and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of fish breeders and things down there I'd, I'd definitely like to go to. Uh, I just don't want to get bit by... Mm, I'm not that worried about snakes, honestly. Although my buddy did get bit by a rattlesnake, which was... I'll, I'll admit to having laughed at it. At the time, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing again. Man, not good. I probably shouldn't laugh at his misfortune, but I can't say it wasn't his fault because he definitely was messing around with the pointy end. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be messing around with the pointy end of a snake because you're going to get bit. That's just how that goes. Uh, Mark Dibble. What? what did Mark ask? Uh, I boil cannabis leaves for my shrimp. Hmm. You mean hemp. You mean hemp leaves. Yeah, you could boil hemp leaves for your shrimp. Right? <clears throat> uh, as you guys know, I'm sober. So if anybody thinks I'm actively endorsing any kind of drug nonsense, I really am not. I have been sober for... Let me check. I think it's... 1700 uh some let me I got to check my calendar over here. I have a calendar that keeps track for me. So I'm getting old. Getting old, bros. What? Is this calendar, bro? Oh no, 1702 days. Yeah. Uh but yeah, as far as I know, uh hemp leaves actually are a they actually have protein and everything in them too, I think. You know, like broccoli, you know. I think technically you could live off of like rice and broccoli for a really, really long time. If all you ate was rice and broccoli, I think you could live quite a long time. I think you'd lose out on fat though. I think you'd be missing some fat. So maybe broccoli and butter or something. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I think you could live off rice and broccoli for a really long time. Let's see. Twin Cities Guppies is here. It's no surprise. I was talking about guppies and Ken Lee showed up. Still need like a little tiger guppy, guppy, you know, something like that. You know, something along those lines. Jackson's here, says hit that thumbs up. I'll hit the thumbs up for Jackson any old time. Thanks, Jackson. Uh, anyhow, let's, uh, all right, we're about halfway through. We got to do this little uh, air quote commercial portion. Is that how we do this around here? Oh, check this out. Uh, you know, I mentioned the other day, where did my, where did my floating, ah, oh, damn, I don't have it on here. It's on the other one. Uh, I think I can find it. I think I can find it while... Oh, that's not helpful. Add source. Media file. Yeah, there we go. Okay, open. <laughs> yeah! I got my floating easy green. What up now, dog? It doesn't have a shadow on it, though. It doesn't look like it's real. Uh, can I do a shadow effect on here? Let me see. Hands resize, lock position... Do 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 do. I don't think I can. Wait, I know you can. Where'd it go? Auto crop, bottom, top, cropping, keep source, lock position, enhance resize. No. Effects, shape, file. Nope. I guess if you do it this way, you can't add a shadow to it. Lame. But I'll float it over there. Anyhow, um, one of the reasons I float the little Aquarium Co-op Easy Green on there is because Aquarium Co-op is one of our affiliate sponsors. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that means that if you go through our referral and you happen to go buy things at the Aquarium Co-op, like a, like like let's say you're going to go buy a new CO2 diffuser and you're because you're cool like me and you want to set up one of the new ones from CO2 Art, which there'll be a video for that coming out very very soon i am uh i'm quite enthusiastic about how well the uh, co2 art stuff is working um uh, i posted a link there candy posted a link there if you happen to go to the co-op and you want to get something like let me go to um check this out 
Where did my whiteboard go? Oh, I have to move my whiteboard up to the front. There we go. If you buy something, what the? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. If you buy something like Easy Green, like this right here, it basically lets Corey and the people at Aquarium Co-op know that you bought it and they basically just say like, oh, that's the guy that referred us. Cool. And basically, I get paid a little bit of advertising. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that goes. Same thing with the old Amazon. If you've never been over to Amazon before, I would have to say that I don't believe you if you said you'd never been there before. Um, if, you'd, if you said you'd never been there before, I would just continue to say... I don't know that I believe what you're saying because the words coming out of your mouth don't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, but if you are somebody that goes over to Amazon and buys stuff, where's my stupid... Oh, there it is. Uh, what? What? Gah, where'd my stupid link go? It's pretty fun when I'm like... It's like you're supposed to get the link when you're on this page. Like, share your storefront. Okay, whatever. I'm going to just go over here and I'm going to get this thing. Here, here's the link. I found it. There. This is a pretty cool, like when I do this little commercial part, right? Okay, anyhow. Um, so if you go over to Amazon and you go through that and you go to my storefront, there's a bunch of stuff there that I have used uh, that is on sale at Amazon. Uh, some of the stuff is like shirts. Some of the stuff is recording stuff. Some of the stuff is aquarium stuff. Uh, you know, there's many varied things in there that I have used, uh, products that I talk about, like the dehumidifiers that I've used are there, stuff like that. And, uh, so you can go over there, but you can order whatever you want from Amazon. And it just says that you sent us, uh, or that I sent you now that's an expiring thing. So you do have to go there, uh, once every 24 hours, if you're going to order new stuff or whatever, but basically put, if you go to Amazon before, or if you go through that link that takes you to Amazon, order whatever you want. doesn't change your price, blah, blah, blah. scooby doo if you don't know about it uh, and you don't want to go through mine because you don't like me, that's fine. Just make sure you go through somebody's affiliate link before you go to Amazon on purpose, okay? Whether it be the Smile program, if you're trying to help out kids get their cleft palates taken care of, very important. I think it's awesome. And that's one that I've been going through recently too. Um, there's a bunch of care programs and stuff like that. Make sure you go through an affiliate link because you probably accidentally clicked on some kind of troll like pop-up ad or something like that that you accidentally clicked on on Facebook or something like that. You got to do it. So make sure you go through somebody's if you don't go through mine. Okay, cool. That's our advertising for the day. Oh, wait, no, we have to mention the Patreon. Oh, God, this is so much. This is so much, you guys. Okay, Patreon is a third-party source place page where you can go there. You could be like $1 a month. Uh, we actually have a bunch of new patronizers uh, just in the last day or two. You know, so I'll give a shout out to them. So we've got some brand new ones. And big shout out to anybody that has been one for a long time. I don't even know how to really do the shout outs anymore because we have a good big group over there and it gets confusing but cp is brand new johan is brand new t riddle brand new and deborah cook we've got four brand new patronizers over there you can be somebody a dollar a month five dollar a month or you can be like lexing cat and throw a ten dollar super chat into the uh chat that says tip jar on it and there we go and we're good and we didn't get demonetized because guess what we're independent and we get to do what we want and we can talk about basement tomatoes um, if we want to. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Which we don't really need to because there's a lot of other people doing that out there and we want to talk about aquarium stuff. Um, somebody was asking earlier, what's my filtration like? I have a million videos about the sumps and everything I operate on this channel uh, as, as highlighted uh, on the Patreon page just the other day. And I don't have it pulled up, so I'm going to act like I'm talking about something else for a second while I pull up the uh, the page. There. Jay Swift had posted, you just mentioned on the Monday live stream that we could go back and watch your entire group of 901 videos if we like. I had to look at how many hours of video that is. It is 504 hours, 10 minutes, and 6 seconds, or more than three weeks of continuous <laughs> videos. <laughs> That's insane, and uh, 
guess what? We're just going to keep going on and keep going on. So I will probably make some more filtration videos and stuff like that. But just to answer the question quickly and efficiently, I run big sumps. I run reactors on my CO2. Yes, that's how I filter because I just don't think there's a better way. Let's see here. The Fish Barn says, is there a way to get the affiliate link from the Amazon app for you? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. This should be it right here, right? No, that's Patreon. Oops. Let me see here. Where's my... Oh, so... Yeah. Okay. So here's a quick explanation um, on the Amazon thing. So if you go here, it takes you straight to Amazon, takes you to my store, and you can literally go to the homepage on Amazon and keep shopping. And it keeps track that, it, that you came here uh, from basically like from my page, it keeps track that I was the one that sent you to, I referred you to go to Amazon, right? You know, and you can go there and buy pantyhose. Oh man, let me check. I'm going to check. I'm going to look through, which uh, this should, um, this should be mildly, like if you're a really big weirdo, this would be one of those things um, that you might want to influence at some point in time. Let's go. We're going to go and we're going to find the weirdest thing that has been ordered in um, the last month. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's not weird. That's a Fluval heater. That's not weird. Uh, we got a Python water changer. That's not weird. We got spray paint, uh, bio rings. It's all pretty normal kind of stuff. Uh, we got some vinyl tubing. Somebody ordered some um, substrate. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm kind of reading, reading, reading. Let's see if we can't find something. Can't find something really interesting. Almost everything in here is like, is is pretty much pretty straightforward. Ooh, somebody ordered the uh, Shrimp King snail sticks. Those are awesome, by the way. I am I am enthusiastic about those um about those snail sticks. We might have to go to the next page. I haven't seen anything totally creepy yet. But every once in a while, I get something in here, like somebody will order something, and I'm like, wow, really? All right. Let's see. Yep, so far, just about everything is kind of kind of just making sense. Nope, that's a filter housing. That, that Like almost everything. You guys, we don't even have anything really questionable out of the 150-something things that people ordered this month. That's kind of weird. I was hoping that there would have been something really weird in here. Because normally there is. Nothing in here. <sighs> that's kind of sad. So, All right, you guys. It, that's your challenge. You got go to Amazon and order something weird so it shows up in there. And I kind of freak out. And I couldn't see anything. Everything in here looks pretty normal. It's like ceramic Pleco cave. Yeah. That makes sense. A new keyboard for your computer? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, aquarium plant tools? Makes way too much sense. <laughs> you know? I haven't seen anything that was, like, making me laugh really hard. That's, like, thermometer, filter cartridges. Like, it's all. this is all just very typical kind of stuff. Although I am kind of surprised. Okay, here's something. Here is something. Somebody ordered somebody ordered 60 bars of soap. Cuz it's like a 6 count and they ordered 10 packages of 6 counts of soap. I'm wondering if that was like a holiday purchase for like some kind of charity. I'm wondering that feels like that feels like a charity. Yeah, that feels like a charity thing, you know, for like a Christmas thing cuz that's something I would do is I'd order like, you know, 100 Hundred individual packaged soaps, and then like drop them off at the um, uh, drop them off at the thing. Oh, Creedmore Aquatics is asking, do I have a pub public Amazon wish list? Yeah, actually, I do. 
Most people are super pissed off about my Amazon wish list, though, because everything on there is fairly expensive. <laughs> Uh, we don't need that case. We don't need that either. We already supplied that. Uh, I'm going to update it real quick. That's not what we need. What the? What is this? Uh, sometimes Amazon's is tripping. Sometimes Amazon's is tripping. We can't, can't hardly trust them sometimes. Where did that go? Hmm. Let's see. I think I have... Yeah. Sorry, I need to update this thing. Wait, where's the... Hold on. There. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. I don't know. It's possible that I don't have it. Let me go back here. Okay, delete that. Update this. Actually, most of the things on here aren't that bad. <laughs> uh, send list to others. No, I just want the link, you weirdos. There we go. Copy. Here. Paste. All right. Since you asked for it, and, you know, I mean, you super chatted for it, so I guess I'll, I'll let you look at the public list. Um... Yeah, that's the fan production wish list. And then I do have um, I do have some other like wish list items, but these are mostly all like just for family and stuff like that. And we had one for the baby. As you guys know, Olivia is awesome and she's super rad. I love her. And um, <laughs> Mike from Mass Aquarium sent us a... Uh, a box of, of wipes and uh, the hand family or a handle family. Am I saying that right? Jay handle. It's like handle aquatics. I think sent us an awesome box yesterday and I can't even tell you everything that was in there. It was really cool. And uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about that on Friday. I didn't want to talk about it today, but uh, some people have definitely sent some really cool stuff in. And I just want to say thanks to those, to everybody that has helped out with the raising of our baby. You know what it's like with them wipes and diapers and all that kind of crazy stuff. Like it's just kind of a nightmare. You know what I mean? So uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, you are welcome. Looks like he's updating. So ignore the blue iguana on there. <laughs> Um, I wish there was a blue iguana on there. Is there a blue iguana on there? I should add a blue iguana onto the, uh, the wish list. Where'd that go? There should be one on here. Oh God, that reminds me. I still need to order a new monitor. Oh, you guys, it's just always like compounding nonsense of like, like, I got to get a 4K monitor because I don't have 4K monitor, so I can't look at anything that's in 4K. So I film stuff in 4K, and then I have to look at it in 1080p. It's just... It's not the best idea. It's not the best idea to, like, not have a 4K screen and then try and edit stuff. It's not great. So I've been having to downsample certain things, and... Uh, so one of these days, I'll get a new monitor. Um... Vex and Cat sent us the awesome monitor that I use all of the time, which is clearly outshining my old monitor over here that makes my brain feel like it's on fire. Um, and so big thanks to Vex and Cat because always like this monitor works awesome. Only thing is it's not a 4K, so I have to like down sample all the 4K footage down into <laughs> 1080p. But I don't think I'm, I'm going to make the switch to like YouTube videos in 4K. That seems like a big giant waste of time but i think what i want to do is be able to edit some of the images down and then i'll be able to compress those and put them up on instagram and just kind of streamline my instagram game for those people that only do instagram i guess i don't know i feel like i'm spread pretty thin with all of these platforms and all this stuff going on so i think 4k video would only just like slow me down 
even though the the new computer is awesome and uh, totally kicks ass, it's like even doing 4K on a on this computer still takes up a lot of time. So that's really something that you know who knows if that'll ever happen. Smike Hunter Aquarium Game says, I was hoping to catch a live stream. Well, you did. You caught one right by the tail. Like a lizard. Um, <laughs> like a monitor lizard? <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't think I could hang out with a monitor lizard. Considering they have that, like, the dirtiest mouths ever. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been around a monitor, but they just don't smell like They don't even smell good. Um, they smell terrible. Uh, Dennis Balagard is asking anyone has experience with the Jewel Heliolux Spectrum 1000 LED light. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look that up. Jewel Heliolux. Where could I order one from if I needed one? Oh my God, they're $400. Well, there you go. I mean, people freak out about. Um, People freak out about uh, Fluval's lights being expensive. This is this is super expensive. Let's see. Oh, that one's in Australia. I can't order that from Australia. Australia. So the UK. Nope. Um, AU. That's Australia. Shoot. I don't think I could get one. DE. That's not here. I mean, we could look at it and see what's up. Let's take a look at it. Helia Lux. I'm intrigued. I think maybe if I happen to go to Europe again, maybe I'll see if I can see one there. Oh, I remember seeing this on display. I remember seeing this on display at like Inner Zoo. I remember the controller. I remember the controller hanging down and was like messing with this thing. I've never used it long term, but I do recall the controller. I recall the controller from Interzoo and their um, advertising stuff. So I would love to try one of these lights. Let's see the 60 watt, the Spectrum 1500. I don't, yeah, I don't think I can order one in the States, though. Oh, maybe. Maybe right here? No, that's Australia. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to try one out. It looks cool. Yeah, this is your... What is this? Your online pet store. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that one's in Australia, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I could find one that's in the States. I would love to try one out, though. And, and you know, by the way, I've I've talked to, um, you know, I talked to, like, Kessel. I talked to a few other places, and they were like, you know, when I talked to them in person, they were like, oh, yeah, man, we'll definitely send you out some lights to test and give them a try. Uh, and I never heard back from them. The only people I ever heard back from, um, well, I guess... I guess I never heard back from Fluval, but Fluval literally, um, the Fluval rep basically went to Corey and was like, oh, just give him the lights that he needs for his reef tank. So my reef tank lights are sponsored by Fluval, if anybody's ever wondering. And one of the reasons I haven't um, posted any kind of video on that yet I'm basically still in production. I'm, I, you know, with plants, you get a lot, um, you get a lot of response from lights that work really well. Lights that are working well, plants grow, they come back, they just, they, they do well. Reef tanks, way different. You know what I mean? We're talking about coralline algae. I got to figure out um, all of my macro algaes, whether those are growing in the sump, uh, hard coral, soft coral. Uh, anemones, all that kind of stuff. I have to figure out whether or not, uh, it's working properly and stuff. So I've been going very, very cautiously slow with those. I will say the Fluval 3.0 reef lights so far have pretty much met my expectations, if not surpassed them for, for considering 
how much that um, how much those lights cost in comparison to typical reef lights. Uh, they're like significantly cheaper than typical reef lights. I, I would say the typical reef lights are are more like that jewel light that we were looking up right there um, to see if um, uh, if it's any good. Mark Dibble's asking. Fluval has a new filter media. Has anyone tried it? I haven't personally tried it. Um, I I really haven't tried it personally. Oh, Dennis says, thanks for asking. I think it's made in Germany. Yeah, it might be made in Germany, but it doesn't seem to be for sale uh, in the States. If it was for sale in the States, I would I would go out of my way to go try one and uh, check it out because I, I would love to find something that's a real competitor to the Fluval 3.0 light. Um, and one of the reasons I say that is... You know, some people like the Phoenix, some people like the Kessels, some people like, um, you know, whatever other lights, you know, they've got shop lights, they got to do whatever they're doing. Um, I haven't really found anything that has all of the features for the same price, you know what I mean? So uh, I would love to find uh, some other plant lights that have the same amount of coverage, same kind of features, that kind of stuff, and see um, what it is. Joel Gillett says... Uh, uh, the vid kind of jumped before. Yeah, that was me. Literally, I accidentally grabbed it and moved it <laughs> like, like that. So I, I try not to do that. Um, T-I-Y-T, can you do a video building a planted aquarium under $150? Uh, I could. Maybe. May I don't, you know. I spent $1,000 on uh, on a tank, just the tank this year. So... It would seem weird to do a super cheap setup before I do, but it is possible. I could do a Planet Aquarium for under 150 bucks. I don't know. I could. All right. You convinced me. You convinced me during a live stream to think about it. And, uh, yeah, I could do it at some point in time. I'll figure out... Um, I'll do a video with Corey. How about that? I'll, I'll get Corey and I, and we'll uh, put together a video of how to do a planet aquarium for under 150 bucks or 150 bucks. We'll take a look. We'll take a look and see if we can't put something like that in the next couple weeks together. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Austin Smith says, do you think a scoot and fruity puffers would do all right with Congo tetras or rainbows? Ooh. Hmm. Well, Congo Tetras and Rainbows are both pretty aggressive feeders. So I, I think that would be the big problem. Um, both Rainbows and Congo Tetras are pretty quick, but the... What is it? Shodentai? Shodentai Puffers are... Um, you know, they really are opportunistic... Um, what do you call that? What do you call that when a predator surprises something? What is that? Uh, ambush, ambush predators. There we go. Uh, they really, they're really ambushy. So, you know, I would be more concerned about the Congos and the, and the rainbows because they get pretty confident as they get bigger and they'll just be kind of swimming around. And my guess would be the puffers will probably take bites out of them. <laughs> You know, um, they have a tendency to do that. They're just kind of hiding in the bushes there. And then like all of a sudden they'll just come like slowly hovering out and then they'll just be like, bam. And they'll just like have eaten a snail, you know, and just be like, just like swimming off. Like, yeah, I've caught that snail. It was going slow, <laughs> you know? And, um, so I wouldn't think they'd be a great mix. Plus... Yeah, Congo, Congo tetras like a little more acidic water than um, um, rainbow fish would want. So I would I would consider that. Obviously, Congo tetras come from the Congo. Shukudadenti puffers come from the Congo also. Um, um, Ken Dyer says, Shuldenti buffers are sort of a shy, timid fish. There's, well, I would say there's, there's, they're sort of, they seem shy or timid, but they're hunting, you know, they're ambush hunting. So they really, um, 
uh, they're just kind of waiting for an opportunity of somebody to slip up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's sort of like saying the guy who mugs people in the alley is shy or timid. He's like, he's just hanging out in the dark waiting to rob somebody. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know if it's shy or timid because they're a hundred percent predator. That's for sure. Uh, but they are kind of just like, yeah, let me hide out back here and wait and bite your face off. So I've definitely liked them. Uh, Ken has his with neons and they've never bothered him. Yeah. Uh, I have mine with the, uh, the rummy nose uh, tetras and they seem to be doing fine. Um, you know, the rummy nose are, and, and neons and stuff like that are more of a schooling fish, so they're not going to be that much out there. You know, Congo tetras, they do get kind of aggro, uh, even though they do school quite a bit, but they, they get confident as they get bigger. And I think that's the same with rainbow fish, but, um, you know. All right, let me see here. I'm going to cruise through if we got any talking points here. Oh, I want to give a shout out to, um, Man, we got three new patronizers today. What are we doing? Are we going straight into 2019 with a head full of steam? Man, we're up to 281 patronizers. How are we how are we supposed to handle this? What are we supposed to do? Creedmore Aquatics is brand new. Carrie Pitt coming in and Dennis M Green Jr. Well, hot damn. Thanks, guys. That's we get the Oceaneers coming in on the old Patreon over there. Thank you. During the show. It's inspirational, you guys. It makes me feel less tired if we get funding and be able to try and do more projects. So we got those shrimp coming. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That's how we were able to afford getting those shrimp to come. So I'm really going to try to see what's going on. I negotiated a coupon for you guys. It's a straight-up coupon. There's no affiliate or anything like that. It's going to be just a straight-up coupon if you guys want to order shrimp. Um, and uh, so, yeah. But uh, I, want to, I want to make sure I, that I put that out there when you guys can actually order shrimp at the right time. And he mentioned that they have to do some kind of maintenance or something like that uh, at the actual place. So uh, I just want to drop that later in the week. Uh, so hopefully I'll let you guys know about that on Friday. It might be, it might end up being Monday though, just to be honest with you, you know, uh, candy says, thanks to the new Patreons. Well, thanks guys. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I've always kind of second guessed the Amazon thing because it, it never really like amounts to anything. Now, I don't know what happened yesterday with the Amazon, but a bunch of you guys went through the Amazon portal and bought a ton of stuff yesterday. So whatever you guys are doing with the Amazon link, just keep doing that. And I would never, I wouldn't care if you replicated that every day. I mean, that's kind of monumental amount of uh, people ordering stuff off of Amazon. I could see why that business is doing well. Because the people go there and they order a lot of stuff. Kind of crazy. Kind of cray-cray, honestly. Um, let's see. It's Nature Man. I have the 46-inch lights. Warning, they can grow algae very well. Which ones are we talking about here? Um, so I was trying 55-gallon with a 4-foot light and dwarf hair grass. Let's see what we got here. It's hard to catch up. When you guys get really chatting and stuff, man, it's hard to catch up and keep track. Oh, man, I wish you guys... Uh, has anyone tried the Beamswork DA120? Uh, I've tried the... I swear I've tried the, the Beamswork uh, Reef version. But I don't think I've ever tried the uh, Aquarium Plant one. But here's the question. Does it have... Does it have a controller in it? Here's the 48-inch one. Oh, my God, it's only 60 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, that's Marine. Okay, that's probably why. Yeah, I've tried the marine ones, and it wasn't that good. Um, why would you have... What? Oh, yeah, that's literally a marine light that is fish only. That's not cool. That's not cool in my book. That is a waste of time. Don't buy that. So, the plant one is 48-inch. 
got 104 6500K bulbs and 16 actinic. That must be the night light. Yeah, that's the night mode. Has whites on, all on, or blue on. That's it. Oh, and it has an optional part. So the timer is an add-on. You'd have to add on for the timer. I wonder where you could buy the timer. Let me see here. I don't know. I used to use stuff like beams work lights. I don't think I'm ever going to do that ever again. This looks to be... Yeah. I Personally, if I was going to go for a light in that price range, I would just go with the Phoenix. Um... I think it's the same light, and I think the Phoenix is actually cheaper, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I know the Nikru light is terrible. They just break constantly. Like the legs, even the legs just fall off of them. Uh, this is actually kind of interesting right here. The Hippar, Hippar Garo. Hmm. Do they have this one for plants? I might try it out at that price. No, I don't have it. They don't have that. They only have it for a reef, a nano reef tank. Yeah. All right. I got sucked in. That's how Amazon makes money. They suck you in while you're, you know, <coughs> trying to talk on a live stream with 150 people watching you uh, wonder about lights on Amazon. Very interesting. It's a very interesting show we've I've managed to put together here today, you guys. Uh, Barbara says, does anyone ever use the blue light mode lights? I never do. Uh, I currently am sort of... Uh, on one of my tanks, I'm trying the blue lights, and it doesn't seem to do much of anything, you know, except for be weird in there when I go in at night. It's like, why is it all weird and blue in here? What's going on? What is happening? Why is it all blue inside uh, this thing? Uh, Kevin Rosenberg has the Asta 20 light. Really nice price for $42. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, do, 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 What's Ed looking for? What did Ed find? Wonder Shell, do you suggest for a 75-gallon um, planted a current? Uh, the the seventy five gallon wonder shell I would say is like the the medium large I think there's like four sizes there's like small medium medium large and then large I think the I think the large one's only two ninety nine so <laughs> I just only ever get the big one um so I don't know but we got a ten dollar super chat we we should answer this right here uh, Christopher Gonzalez says uh, I have two seventy five gallon aquariums plus my sixty inch television in my upstairs bedroom this is in an upstairs apartment is this too much weight for an upstairs apartment bedroom also how do i become a patreon um oh okay well christopher gonzalez says he has two 75 gallon aquariums plus a tv uh 60 inch tv especially if it's a flat screen really doesn't weigh all that much so i really wouldn't worry about that tv even if it was one of those big old tvs i really wouldn't be stressed out about it now if we're talking about aquariums upstairs now here's what i want to tell you guys as far as you know building construction goes i can't tell you whether or not something is load bearing or not from here i don't have the plans i've never looked at the building so I can't just tell you whether or not something's good or not. But what I can do, hold on a second. Oh, my foot's asleep. I got to switch feet, Biddy. Sorry, guys. I'm, I, I sit on my foot to keep my posture legit, um, especially while I'm doing the show or editing while I'm sitting here for a long time. I really screwed up my back like since the baby was born. And I figured it out. I figured out why my back is all screwed up. I, uh, I, whatever, I was doing a bunch of work. I, I kind of tweaked my back a little bit. And I realized what I'm doing when I have Olivia with me is like I, I lean over and I have a really terrible posture when I'm 
uh, holding the baby. I don't know if anybody else has encountered this, but my back has just been on fire since the baby was born. So another reason why I sit on my foot while I'm here is that it makes me sit up straight. So the only downside is my foot falls asleep, but there's no long-term damage to the foot. So that's all right. Now, uh, let's get back to Chris's uh, super chat here. I can give you advice on aquarium placement inside of a building, typically. Typically, the strong points are going to be where the load-bearing walls are. Now, that might as well sound like Chinese to a lot of people if you don't speak Chinese. You see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're somebody who doesn't speak Chinese and somebody is speaking in Chinese, you're like, I don't know what they're saying. I don't have a clue. If I say load-bearing wall to a lot of people, they're like, huh? I don't know. Now, a load-bearing wall to a person that has no idea what I'm talking about would be an exterior wall. So you'd want to have these aquariums pushed up against an exterior wall. Now, you know what that means. That's one of the outside walls, right? You want to have it pushed out uh, and set up by an exterior wall because that's where the point of contact is, generally speaking, going to be the strongest in order uh, you know, for the, the floor to be able to support the weight. Now, two 75-gallon aquariums, if they're not like right next to each other, I wouldn't be that concerned about the weight. Because um, if, you know, we start to do the math there real quick, right? So a gallon of water is about eight gallons. So we go 75 times eight. So it's about 400. Well, oh, that's not right. Did I screw that up? I almost just screwed that up out loud. So we go 275s, right? Is 150, 150, 150, 150. So it's about 600 pounds. Uh, I wouldn't be that concerned about the weight. Did I just screw that up again? Hold on a minute. What do I... Yeah, oh yeah, 8 times 75. Yeah, 600 pounds. Yeah. Um, so it would be about 600 pounds. If you have it uh, up against a wall, I would just make sure they're not right next to each other. Um, you know, because that's not a crazy amount of weight to have upstairs. Um, a water bed, I think a water bed is like 80 gallons, I think, right? How many, how many gallons in a water bed? Bed gallons. Let's see. Typical water gallon, how much, how much? Oh my God, a king size hard side water bed mattress requires 235 gallons of water. That's much more than I thought. Queen size 196. That's a lot more than I thought, but the footprint is really spread out. So, uh, but that's more gallons than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize it was going to be like 240. But uh, I wouldn't be super concerned about that weight um, as long as you got them like up next to exterior walls. It's just very typical for. Um, very typical for a placement for an aquarium to have it up against an exterior wall. You know, that's pretty typical. So I wouldn't worry about it that much. Um, Randy Hightower says, I round up to the 10, 10 pounds uh, a gallon for ease of mass. Yeah, it's a good point. I I, I don't know. I think uh, with how many more people there are live streaming these days, I think there are a lot of people out there starting to come to the realization that like this isn't, as easy as it th as it seems to come on here and talk nonstop, uh, you know, for an hour or two hours, hour and a half, any of that kind of stuff, and control everything, and control everything, and be able to look up stuff, and you know, be able to go back over here to the video and turn on the arrow. I mean, come on, that's the easy green. We don't want to turn on the easy green. We want to turn on the arrow. Booyakasha! Arrow time. Oh my, been arrowed. Okay, um, and oh, there was another part of the question on that super chat. I better, I better get to that because that's like the important thing, right? Is the Patreon? He uh, was wondering how to become a Patreon. So here's a link. I'm gonna post it in the chat right here. www.patreon.com forward slash Joel underscore C. That is. Uh, the Corvus Oskin Patreon page, because it's under my name. Um, and you'll see Corvus Oskin in the title and everything. It's under my name, which is Joel, Joel 
Chris Jensen is my name. I don't know if anybody's figured that out because it's on almost everything that is this channel and everything. Uh, the That is our Patreon page. You can go there. You can sign up. And it is a monthly charge. Uh, it is a monthly charge. So you could be like $1 a month. It's sort of like NPR. It's funded by you guys. Um, there are only one... There's basically only, I mean, there are tiers just to have a name, but there's not a whole ton of rewards up until you get to um, the producer thing. Because mostly everybody that is patronizing is they're able to make community posts, um, which means you can post pictures and questions or anything like that. And, uh, you know, help us, you know, we're building a community there. We're able to answer people's questions and stuff. And, um, you know, most of the people, they just want to see the projects and stuff keep going. Uh, one of the tiers on there is producer. That's at the $100 level. Hundred level. We have one producer, which is the fishy mailman. And every time I try to um, get him to, you know, tell me what video to make, he just tells me to make whatever video uh, Caleb wants to make. And then whenever I ask Caleb whatever he wants, he says, make a chicken video. And I just don't have any chicken videos to make. Um so I, it's just an ongoing thing. I, I definitely have a bunch of chicken film now. I just don't know what to do with it, you know. So uh, we'll see how it goes in the springtime when it'll be a better time to post some chicken videos, if you know what I'm saying. So we'll be doing that. Uh, and then there's also the independently wealthy uh, tier, which is just there as a joke. It's pretty much just a troll. Um, you know, 15000 a month and... Um, and the reward there says, I'll, I'll come to your place and personally help you out, you know? So, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest here. If somebody pays 15 grand, that is enough travel expense to go just go to your, your place. That was the whole reason we made that. It was kind of a joke if anybody, like, if Jeff Bezos or somebody like that came along and was like, I want to fund the show. I'm like, oh, yeah, just go to the Patreon, bro, and you could you just click on it. Um, that was the whole reason that we put that on there, um, just kind of as a joke, but maybe there's somebody rich that wants me to come help them set up their aquarium. And so we it kind of figured it out and it was like, it was probably going to be 10 grand, um, the 10 grand, I would be able to fly anywhere. Uh, I do have my passport. I have all my documents. I have my TSA pre-check, blah, 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 all that, um, world, world entry nonsense, all that kind of stuff. So I can go anywhere. Um, I just hope that the super rich person is from like New Zealand or somewhere cool like that. If that does happen, uh, and we just bumped it up to fifteen grand, so hopefully I can, um, you know, buy a neck pillow for wherever the hell I end up going if that ever does happen. <laughs> the main goal for the Patreon has always been to build the giant aquarium. The giant aquarium is supposed to be. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. But it would essentially be a trailer, a semi-trailer, right? Which a semi-trailer is a 20,000 gallon. Is A semi-trailer is the equivalent of a seven... Uh, 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 okay, a semi-trailer is the equivalent of a 20,000 gallon aquarium. Okay, there we go. I <laughs> got it out, man. Damn. Um, so... And um, we got that. It's, it's basically... The idea with that is actually to get one of those uh, containers. There's actually a company that makes these. They make them in swimming pools and convert it into a mobile a mobile uh, aquarium that we'd be able to drive around to conventions and stuff like that and set it up like in a, uh, you know, parking lot or something like that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Candy Overall says, Caleb just wants nonsense and surprises and your weirdness and that's why he fell for you <laughs> yeah we're just I, I i you know i every time i've tried to contact and make that thing the producer credit work it basically just boiled down to like just keep making videos i'm like okay i'll keep making videos and seems like the late night videos now are the thing that kind of resonates with everybody they, everybody seems to be watching those um you know the late night plant focused videos and stuff like that so i'm gonna keep making them you know what i mean um Big D smoke. Nope. Sorry, bro. I'm in Tacoma and not New Zealand. Well, 
you know, Big D, if you come up with uh, with the fifteen grand, we'll just fly out to New Zealand and we'll go visit all of our New Zealand tube buddies, and uh, we could just set up an aquarium in Tacoma because I'm already here. That's a short commute. Uh, too real for YouTube says. Uh, uh, how's it going with quitting smoking and or vaping or whatever you're doing to quit? Uh, it's going awesome. I have not smoked cigarettes. I don't want to smoke cigarettes. I don't have anything to do with cigarettes. Yes, I'm still vaping. Um, I've been uh, vaping the Aspire Breeze 2 is the one. Um, and the way I look at it this way is I quit smoking via vaping. And the reason I, I did that and I made this decision kind of in my head was, um, you know, as a, as a guy who... Went through a lot of drug and alcohol and all sorts of kind of crazy things in my life. You know, the one thing I was, I, I still, bad habit, I, well, it's not the only bad habit I have left. I sometimes pick my nose and fart in public. But, um, you know, it was one of the, the bad health habits that was obvious and was just a really bad, it just sucked. It was just awful and I didn't want to do it anymore. Um, and as you guys know, the tobacco companies nowadays add a lot of other addictive stuff in there. Uh, so to basically get off of the cigarettes, I started vaping so that I could kind of deal with just the nicotine thing and step down from there. Uh, and I will be honest with you guys. I had a lot of the weirdest cravings for all sorts of weird stuff in relation to, uh, quitting smoking. Um, you know, there, it seemed to me that there are a lot more chemicals in there that you kind of have to kick. You know what I mean? And I quit smoking when basically when Olivia was born. So it's been about two months now. Um, you, you know, I'm going about quitting smoking almost the same way as I got sober, although I'm not really keeping track of the date because it's right around when, when Olivia was born. So first of all, it's super easy to keep track of that. Second of all, I'm just not going to smoke today and then I'll be cool. And, um, you know, that's the thing, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's the thing. I'll just keep moving on and, and doing the vape thing. And eventually I'll just, uh, you know what I mean? Work my way down, work my way down in the, uh, amount of nicotine and maybe, maybe vape forever. I don't know, but it, it should work. It, it definitely has worked and it's been good and I haven't, you know, like I said, um, a couple months ago, after kind of quitting, I still had a couple, I had a couple left and, uh, I went to go smoke one and it was just disgusting. And I just put it out. I was like, Oh, this is nasty. And I just put it out, threw it away. I was like, yeah, that's gross. So it's worked. I am, uh, happy. I'm kind of coughing. I have a little bit of a cold right now. And, uh, I was sanding and routering wood all day yesterday. So, um, like a fool, I just, you know, because I was just going about it like little bit by little bit, I uh, I didn't put on my respirator like I normally did, and I just kind of, I really just wasn't thinking about it, and so I probably inhaled way too much sawdust yesterday, and uh, that's probably why I'm a little bit bleh today. Let's see here. All right. We got to come up on the end of the show because I got a bunch of stuff to get done and uh, the sitter has got to go. As you guys know, um, I, tell you, I pay for a sitter out of pocket so we could do this show. So I want to give a big shout out to everybody that uh, super chatted today. Where the Where is... Oh, is it over here? No. Are we even online anymore? It's right here. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. The silly mailman stuff got in the way. Okay, there we go. I was trying to find the page that has uh, the Super Chatters on it, and it's over here. Uh, Vexing Cat, Creedmoor Aquatics, and Christopher Gonzalez, which are our... Uh, those are our Super Chatters from today. I want to say thanks to you guys. I also want to say thanks to everybody on the Patreon, because that's how we're able to keep this show going. I don't think I would be able to pay for... Um, uh, if it wasn't for you guys all, all just kind of kicking in a buck or five bucks or whatever that kind of stuff, I don't think I'd be able to uh, keep doing this live show because uh, I would have to be taking care of uh, Olivia. So, um, and no offense, there may be. Oh, right, where, where did we peak today? Where did we peak as far as? Um, let's see. Where did where is our high water mark? 162. 
right? Yeah, even 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 though there would be like 162 of you watching, Olivia is more important. I'm sorry, I would have to go watch her. So big shout out to everybody for kicking in and uh, helping support and keep this going forward. I you know I'm really hoping some of the new um, uh, some of the new uh, projects coming up this summer are going to be pretty awesome. The spring, summer, that kind of stuff. I think um, I'm trying to figure out the weekend of Aquashella. I think I want to go to when is the weekend of Aquashella? I think it is. Let me see. Maybe, maybe I'll go the weekend before that. Try to go the weekend before that. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Dallas, Texas, March 35th and 30th, 35th, March 30th and 31st, March 30, 31st, right over the weekend, right at the end, coming up on April there. Yeah, I'm thinking, um, I'm going to see how that works. I'm going to see if that could work. Uh, for, you know, just as an example, because Candy is here, you know, Candy is here in the chat and Caleb might be here in the chat. I'm not sure. I think one of the things I'm going to try to do, and this is an example, so don't get super crazy, uh, you know, freaking out or anything like that. But I think what I might try to do is something like go out to like the overhauls over the Aquashella weekend, right? And go do a thing out there and shoot all that and then come back, right? And then be like, you know, if I make if I make all the videos and all that kind of stuff and then be like, I could literally go to you guys, like, what do you think was more important? Either going to somebody in the Fish Fam's house or going to a convention, as far as the YouTube goes. And I honestly think as far as the YouTube goes is literally like going out in public and doing a thing out, out, uh, with like a fish fam, you know, somebody in the fish fam like that, you know what I mean? As opposed to, you know, just going to a convention and being like, here's the hotel Radisson. Right. Um, uh, and vexing cat and multi-tank addiction. Thanks, Chris and vexing cat, uh, for your super chats here, right at the end. I wasn't really trolling for super chats, but I'm sure I'm going to get uh, a bunch of comments about it now. <laughs> Anyhow, this show is brought to you by Patreon. Uh, don't forget our affiliate sponsor, the Aquarium Co-op, if you guys want to go get some Easy Green there. I do recommend it because it's super dope, and it's really helping out. This shrimp tank right here is uh, brought to you in part by Easy Green. You know what I'm saying? I literally squirted in there. So, All right, guys, have a great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you all. Lee, where's that button at? Er